Welcome to Brightly Storytime. I'm Miss Linda. Have you ever tried to see Santa? What would you do if Santa came and didn't leave? That's exactly what today's story is about. It's called When Santa Came to Stay by Billy Scharf, illustrated by Ada Caban. When Santa Claus came by last year, he liked our cookies so. He came again on New Year's Eve and did not want to go. His missus came on Valentine's. She missed her Mr. Claus. She brought along their baby and their kitten, Santa Paws. On Easter came the in-laws and both of them got stuck. They brought along the Easter Bunny and her babies Chuck and Puck and Buck and Tuck and Zuck and Huck and Luck and Duck. On Mother's Day came Santa's mom. On Father's Day, you get it. We welcomed one and all to stay. We thought we might regret it. At first, it sure was fun to call each morning, Christmas morning. Every time I turned, I got a present without warning. The toys went on for miles, the yo-yos, trains, and kites. The songs, the laughs, the bubble baths, the midnight reindeer flights. Each meal was full of Christmas cheer, with treats and sweets to spare, with eggnog in our cereal, confetti in our hair. So we were pretty sick of them by Independence Day. I've had it up to here, said Dad. These clauses cannot stay. We slipped them carrot cookies. We thought they'd really hate them. But when the reindeer caught a whiff, they piled in and ate them. And so we locked them out. We even locked the flu. But they came through the dryer vent. I'm more surprised than you. We've gotten sick of Christmas, I said to old Saint Nick. But this is so much fun, said Santa. Do you want a lick? Mama called up Mayor Jane, but then she just joined in. I'm staying off the naughty list, she giggled with a grin. We had to think of something. We had to get them out, or they would stay the whole year through. I hadn't any doubt. And so I hatched a cunning plan. Come on, I said, let's bake. We baked the sweetest cookies that it's possible to make. Hooray, they cheered and asked for more. These cookies are a dream. And then they slurped up eggnog, which was made with heavy cream. Next, I gave out gifts. They ripped and shredded them with glee. Every time they opened one, I gave another three. But there was just one race car. I told them they could share. Santa's hogging it, they wailed. Come on, this isn't fair. My turn's not done, cried Santa Claus, which started quite a fight. I couldn't help but gawk. Oh, what a strange, unpleasant sight. Then Santa skidded on a cake and fell into the tree. Down he came with an eek, ack, thump, landing right on me. I heaved old Santa off the floor. He helped to wipe me clean. And then he rubbed his eyes like he was waking from a dream. 
I said, Oh, Santa, can't you see that none of this is right? Look around you. This is not what Christmas should be like. Christmas isn't all about the presents and the sweets. It's so much more than glitter, ribbons, shiny toys, and treats. Christmas is for family and singing in the park. Christmas is for hanging lights when all the world is dark. Christmas is for helping out when someone needs a friend. And even though it's very sad, Christmas has to end. Of course you're right, sighed Santa Claus. That's the Christmas way. I can't believe we stayed so long and went so far astray. They cleaned the house and said goodbye, and then they hit the sky. How nice it was to be alone, just Mama, Dad, and I. After that, I went back to my normal, simple life. And when next Christmas Eve arrived, it really did feel nice. The sights, the smells, the silver bells. My heart was full of cheer. But we made very sure they wouldn't stay again this year. Do you think you could handle Santa staying year round? It sounds like it would be a lot. Come back to read more stories together anytime you'd like, or find more books to read yourself at readbrightly.com. Bye.